Hello YouTube and welcome to an all new Elder Scrolls lore video. Now today we're talking about a mysterious race of intelligent bird men. A bit like Khajiit but humanoid birds instead of humanoid cats. Uh, they were supposedly an ancient people shrouded in mystery that lived in Cyrodiil so let's see what they're all about. So, the Birdman of Cyrodiil. We know very, very little about this supposed intelligent bird race, which went extinct likely around the middle of the Mretic Era, at least 3000 years before the events of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and at least 2000 years before the events of the Elder Scrolls Online, although it's possible that it's even older than that, since time in the Mretic Era wasn't recorded particularly well. This gives us a bit of a problem with the information that we do have, since the Elder Scrolls lore is full of unreliable narrators and the information that we do have stems from 2nd to 3rd to even 4th hand sources from at least over 2000 years ago. Because of this we can say that the information that we do have can be classified as quite unreliable. I'm willing to go so far as to say that it's quite likely that every bit of solid information I'm giving you in this video, which all comes from official sources but is designed to be unreliable, is likely inaccurate because of the unreliable narrator in the sources which are made to represent something which happened 2-3000 years ago, maybe even longer. So yeah, that being said, the sources that we do have tell us of a beast folk race of birdmen living in the heartland of Cyrodiil, on the isles of Lake Rumere, including the large imperial isle on which the imperial city would be built thousands of years later. They supposedly also had holdings in the forest around Lake Rumere, making this their supposed territory. Now, we have sources telling us that these bird people were relatively primitive and could not read or write, not having mastered any system of writing. They were also likely living in a tribal society made up of multiple smaller communities. Now, the one source that we have which directly describes them is the account of Topol the pilot's explorations. He was one of the earliest elves to explore Tamriel after the migrations of the elves, and in essence the elf who discovered Tamriel. I made a video about him, if you want to know more about him, the link to that is in the description. Anyway, the account of his travels described these bird people as having talons instead of feet and having colorful feathers all over their body, a bit like a human-sized tropical parrot. I kind of imagine them as the Rito from the Legend of Zelda series or as this apparently generated image that someone posted online of a bird man with parrot-like colored feathers. Anyway, just like parrots in our world mimic our language without really understanding it, the birdmen apparently mimic the elvish language without understanding it as they came into contact with Topol the pilot and his sailors. However, it turned out that they were on a similar intelligence level as men, mer and beast folk, as according to the account of Topol's travels, they were able to master the elvish language quickly and soon were able to both read and write as Topol and his sailors took the time to teach them. According to the legend, this gift of literacy that Topol and his sailors gave to the Birdman caused the Birdman of the Isles of Lake Rumere, the only community that Topol encountered, to proclaim Topol as their lord and they gave him the Isles, including the Imperial City's Isle, to be his domain. Uh, now, in-universe scholars acknowledge that this mention that they get in Topol's travels is actually the only place in Tamrielic history where these Birdman got mentioned, directly at least. This leads to in-universe, so in the game universe, scholars debating whether these birdmen actually existed or were a fabrication of the writer of the account of Topol's journey, who was said to be in-universe to be quite unreliable. Now, the in-universe scholars who think that the birdmen truly existed speculate that the birdmen were either completely killed off by the early Khajiit, who were in their early 16 Kingdoms period at the time and were much more powerful back then and held large parts of Cyrodiil, the in-universe theory then states that the Khajiit likely killed them in an attempt at more conquest of Cyrodiil to gain more land. Now, the other in-universe theory which some people in the lore mention is that these birdmen, if they existed, were among the first races enslaved by the Aeliads or the Wild Elves as they established their first colonies on Tamriel, which would lead to their race slowly dying out as they were all enslaved and eventually killed by the Aeliads whose kingdoms and eventual empire were largely built upon the enslavement of creatures that they saw as lesser. So these are the theories of in-universe scholars, but I have some other theories for you as well. Because one theory that I've seen states that 
it was simply a tribe of either early humans akin to the Katringi. A video on them is in the description as well if you want to know more. Or another race of elves who were living in the heartland who, like the aliens after them, used bird feathers to decorate their armor and helms. The aliens would have copied this custom from them, according to this theory, but then enslaved the original race and killed them off, or assimilating them to such a degree in their own civilization that they eventually became the aliens as well. Uh, if it was an other race of elves, that is, so if they were able to mingle to that degree. These birdmen would then have been the original wild elves, if they were elves, before the aliens would take that title from them and became the wild elves in recorded history. That would actually make sense, since the aliens weren't particularly wild for most of their existence, so that might be the origin of the name wild elves. Another option is that Topol the pilot and his sailors actually met the Sarpa Argonians, who are a type of Argonian which is said to have wings. We have not seen this type of Argonian in any of the games and according to the lore they only live in the deepest parts of the swamp apparently, but it's possible that they had far greater numbers and lived in the heartlands of Cyrodiil before the coming and colonization of Tamriel by the elves and the human races. A final option, which is equally possible but I personally deem less likely, is that the story of Topol is in fact a wildly exaggerated tale. Uh, that he was not the first elf to set foot on Tamriel, but that he was someone who lived around the time of the great migrations from the Somerset Isles to Tamriel by the elves. He then found a group of Altmer that had traveled to the Heartlands to settle there, who would eventually become the Aelids. Uh, they were then still scattered and not having formed kingdoms yet, likely living in tents as, you know, they just migrated. And then to demean them described them as illiterate beasts to the homeland to make fun of the elves who decided to leave their isles. I deem this less likely because the story of Topol being the first elf to set foot on Tamriel and discovering the continent in a way is among most cultures considered to be true, but I mean, unreliable narrator, plus it's a source that is anywhere from two to three thousand to even older in the universe, so it's very possible that Topol may not have been the first and just went to the continent to see what had become of the elves who left the Somerset Isles and then, you know, wrote some demeaning things trying to make them seem as beasts. I mean, we don't know. With a source like this, everything is possible. It's also possible that they met harpies or early harpies who were said to be more intelligent earlier in their existence and have devolved over time, but their origins are said to be Daedric and in the first era, but that may also be unreliable narrator at work, as we've never had a game set in the first era, so we don't actually witness that, so the origins of Harpies may even be misrepresented. But something that we do know is that some in-universe scholars take the existence of Cyrodiil's Birdman seriously, and during the second era, the antiquarian cycle, you know, the people who make comments on the antiquities you dig up in the Elder Scrolls Online, actually came into possession of a skull, which some say could have been one of the Birdmen, but other scholars say that it's just a skull of a terror bird, making fun of the scholars who believe that it's actually one of the Birdmen. This indicates that it's likely only a minority of scholars who actually believe in their existence, but we don't really know. I mean, where are you on the spectrum of whether they were real or not? Tell me in the comments, please. I want to know. Because I personally don't really know where to place myself. Um, I'm inclined to believe that they did exist as described for the simple reason that there were far more beast races on Tamriel in the past, like the Lilmothid, a uh, fox race of humanoids who live on the Black Marsh southern coasts. A video on them is also in the description if you want to know more about another extinct beast race. Uh, but yeah, because there were more beast races like the Lil Mothid, I think that it's not a huge leap to think that there may have been like a humanoid bird race. So yeah, tell me what you think. With that being said, that was all I can tell you about the Birdman of Cyrodiil. Quite an interesting legend, because a legend is really what it is at this point. But for now, all that rests me is to thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something new today about the Elder Scrolls lore. And if you did, maybe consider returning next weekend when I probably make another video. And now, all that rests me is to vocally thank my top Patreon supporters. Mr. Bernardo Binda, Gabriel Binda, Polo Rasputin, Athena Iotis, Folkier of Argonia, Green Chris, Bolts. Scrub of the Scrolls, Doji, Fenrir, Sword of Bushido, Rakai, Sarmikal, and Mr. Christmas. It's thanks to these people and all the others on screen that this channel stays alive, and for that, I'm very grateful. That said, I hope to see all of you in the next Elder Scrolls lore video. Bye-bye.